Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about detecting the end of the file. Okay, so first suppose this is a file. So if you want to know the end of the file, end character of the file. So this topic is very important. In C, there are two ways to detect end of file. Okay, so the first one is by using end of file eof it is a symbolic constant defined in stdio.h so it is a header file so in this header file the symbolic constant eof is defined so by using eof end of file comparing character by character so by using end of file eof we can compare character by character so in the file file is nothing but collection of data collection of information is known as file okay so if you want to identify the end of the file you need to search character by character okay you need to compare character by character if there is no character at the in the file that means that is the end of the file is it as yes so there is no character in a file so that is the end of the file okay so by using evof we can easily identify the end of the file okay next one is to use the standard library function f evof okay so file end of file so which is also defined in stdio.h Okay, so this is the function which is used to return the end of the file and evof is used to search, compare character by character to know the end of the file. Okay, so let's see this two. First one is end of a file, evof. So, get c returns end of file when end of file is reached. So, what get c function will do? The get c function is used to return used to return one character okay so if get c also return end of file when it is false so if there is no character in a file so it returns end of file okay so only comparing the value returned by get c with end of file is not sufficient to check for actual end of file first suppose there are white spaces in a file okay so the get c value is used to return each character so if there is a blank space the get c value the get c value will be false so that means there is no value in a file so that is not sufficient to find end of file for suppose it has hello after space world okay so the get c function will check the first character h it will return next it checks e return next l return o l return o return so after that there is a space the get c function will uh, not return anything because there is no character here there is a space so by using get c function we cannot decide that is the end of the file okay so this is not sufficient to check for actual end of file to to resolve this problem c provides the function that is f evof function okay which returns non zero values only if end of file has reached otherwise it will return zero okay so if the end of the file return it will zero non zero okay it will return non zero that is 1 2 3 whatever the value okay so if returns zero that means it is not the end of the file so let's see one example so here hash include stdio.h next int main is a main function program execution starts from main function next in a file pointer i am storing i am opening one text file okay so in the text file it contains all the text that is 1 2 a b c d e okay so in this way the text file contains some text okay suppose let's let us assume next 
int ch is equals to get cfp so first file pointer will pointing to the first character okay so it will return one okay next i am checking ch not equals to end of file whether it is true or false yes it is true ch not equals to end of file okay so this is not end of file so that's why it displays the character that is one okay next ch is equals to get cfp next it will return two so two is also not end of file then it returns a b c d okay so in this way it returns all the data in a file next after that d after there is no data ch not equals to end of file so this is false so here if end of so here by using f e o f we are checking whether the fp is reached end of file or not okay so it is reached end of file so that's why end of file is reached okay if it is false then it returns something went wrong okay after that we need to close fp file and return zero okay so in this way by using f e o f function we can easily identify the end of file okay so to use a standard library function a e f e o f function which is defined in std io dot h so the syntax is int f e o f file into f p or e o f f e o f f p so we already used this so this function returns zero or one okay so this function is used to z return either zero or one so if the returned value is zero which means end of file is not reached okay if it is return one which means end of file is reached so by using these one or zero we can easily identify whether the end of file is reached or not okay so let's see one more time this program so first the file pointer will be opened okay so the file is opened and this is a text file which contains a text so we are opening this file for reading purpose okay so next ch is equals to get cfp so get c function is used to return one character from fp file pointer so it contains data okay so suppose the data is 1 2 3 okay so ch first contain one because get c function is used to return only one character so that's why ch contains only one character next while ch not equals to end of file okay so here not ch is not equals to end of file so this is true so that's why we are displaying the character next ch is pointing to next character so here this is also not end of file so it will return 2 and after that again we are checking so this is also not end of file that's why it it returns 3 3 okay next ch not equals to end of file so this is false so ch reached end of file so that's why it goes to out of the loop so here we are checking by using f e o f function okay so if f e o f f p if the file reached end of the file then we need to print end of the file is reached otherwise it returns something went wrong so in this way we can easily identify whether we reached end of file or not okay so by this the class is completed if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe and share my channel thank you